then now we are going to prove the second case that is case number 2 so in our case number 2 we have to prove the rhs the subset of lhs that is a dash intersection b dash must be the subset of a union b whole dash so we are going to prove it by means of element wise so here we have to consider one element that is x which belongs to the lhs that is a dash intersection b dash so now that implies x belongs to a dash intersection b dash therefore x belongs to first of all a dash intersection indicates and and x even belongs to even b dash also so x belongs to a dash so your intersection indicates and symbolic notation inverted v and x belongs to even b dash then now i want to utilize the formula that is a dash is equals to so here we know so here but a complement is given by means of mu minus a and b complement is given by means of mu minus b so here i want to utilize this formula so based upon these two formula so i want to substitute these two in place of a dash and as well as b dash then the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to a dash so a dash can be written as mu minus a so here and x belongs to so here b dash can be written as mu minus b whereas in the next logical step so we can write it as that implies x belongs to mu minus a that is x is present in mu but not in a so here x belongs to mu but x does not belongs to a whereas here x belongs to mu but x does not belongs to b because here b is removed here a is removed we can write it as so in the bracket x belongs to this first set that is mu and x does not belongs to the second set that is a so here and and whereas in the second set x belongs to first set that is mu and it is not present in b because b is removed so we can write it as x does not belongs to b in both the cases so x belongs to mu and x belongs to mu is common and as well as and 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 is also common i want to take up to this extent as common x belongs to mu and and x belongs to mu and and so i want to take x belongs to mu and and as common in the next logical step then now so that implies x belongs to mu and and is taken as common so when in the first case when x belongs to mu and and is taken as common up to this extent only x does not belongs to a is remained in the bracket so here x does not belongs to a is left over in the bracket then and so here and x belongs to mu and and is taken out as common and x does not belongs to b is left over in the bracket so here x does not belongs to b is left over in the bracket then now in the next logical step that implies x belongs to mu and so here x is not belonging or in other words x does not belongs to a and x does not belongs to b so here it is of does not belongs to we can write it as as per the definition of the intersection of the sets here since it is in case if it is of in belongs to in case if it is of belongs to we would have written the we would have taken the definition of the intersection of two sets but it is of does not belongs so intersection becomes here union so here x does not belongs to so here a so here inter intersection will be changed as the union of this b so here since it is of does not belongs to so here this this symbol will be changed this and mean the intersection is changed as the or that is union so in this manner i got x does not belongs to a union b but here that implies x is present in mu but x is not present in a union b that is a union b is subtracted from this mu so we can write it as so x belongs to present in mu so here does not belongs to so here must be minus so must be subtracted a union b must be subtracted from this universal set mu so here x belongs to this mu but does not belongs to therefore i have subtracted this a union b but we know that as per the formula of a union b whole dash so here a union b whole dash is equals to mu minus a union b instead of mu minus a union b we can write it as a union b whole dash so instead of mu minus a union b i want to write it as x belongs to 
A union B whole complement. So here I have utilized the formula based upon the reason that is A union B whole complement is equals to mu minus the bracket that is A union B. So based upon this reason I wrote this logical step. But here then we have LHS. So here the LHS in the second case is off. So x belongs to A dash intersection B dash. X belongs to A dash intersection B dash. So implies the RHS is of X belongs to A union B whole dash. So here from this it is clear that an element X is present in A dash intersection B dash. The same element is also present in A union B whole dash. So here the elements which are present in the LHS set are also the elements of the RHS set. That is LHS must be the subset of RHS. So from this it is clear that therefore A dash intersection B dash must be the subset of A union B whole dash. So in this manner we have proved this second case. So then now let us consider this as the equation number 2. So now from equations or the conditions 1 and as well as 2, the first condition is of A union B whole dash is the subset of A dash intersection B dash. Now this has the condition number 1 or the equation number 1. Then the second condition has A dash intersection B dash is the subset of A union B whole dash as the equation number 2 or the condition number 2. Then now from 1 and 2 conditions that is LHS A union B whole dash is a subset of A dash intersection B dash and this A dash intersection B dash is a subset of A union B whole dash. That is LHS is the subset of RHS and the same RHS is the subset of LHS. From this it is clear that LHS and RHS must be equal. Then now therefore A union B whole dash must be equal to A dash intersection B dash. So in this manner we have proved the De Morgan loss de Morgan law 1 which is A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. Now hence it is proved. 